don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Hello, guys. We are back for another video. Um, and we're going to jump right in here. Let me also say you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are enjoying your family. I hope you are resting and get, getting restored. Um, and most of all, eating some good ass food. So let's just jump into this video, guys. We are going to be talking Young Miami. And Young Miami at this point, she stands to lose a lot. So before we get into the video and everything that I have upcoming um, to share with you guys, I need to make sure you are liking and sharing this video. And as always, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. And also let me know what you guys think in the comments and also hit the thumbs up if you are enjoying the content. So let me give you guys a quick update for those of you who may not know what's going on or what has transpired over the last week or so. Um, Sean Combs Diddy, aka Brother Love, just settled a multi-million dollar lawsuit with Cassie, who was one of his artists who had made allegations that he did some pretty disgusting things. I won't get into it, you know, in this video, um, but she had filed a lawsuit, which he settled within the next 24 hours. Um, and she was actually told to allegedly go on her social media, which we saw that she did and basically say that they had settled. Well, Diddy thought that that particular situation was over. Um, his lawyers took to social media to basically said he did not admit to anything, but that the parties decided to resolve the matter, matter amicably. Um, so that's what they want us to believe. But we know ain't nobody settling no lawsuit within 24 hours a settlement if you lied on them. If you lie on me, listen, we going to court, okay? But of course, you guys got to go check out those other videos. Diddy didn't want to go to court, honey, because it's too much evidence. Remember that video I did where 50 came out and said, yeah, he did because they sent me the videos. All of those people would have come to testify. So of course, he wants to settle this matter and have her be quiet so nobody knows more than what we already know but we know too much because we read that document so what is happening now is you guys if you don't know i'm going to tell you um diddy has a liquor by the name of day leon tequila for all of you that don't know and he also sued them which does not make this any better for him because now what they are stating is because of this and all of the stuff that's happening in the media with regards to him they are saying that he is not a good face for the De Leon tequila. I mean, just think about it. People saying this man is a whole, you know what he is, a R man, you know, ape, you know what I mean with the R. Um, that is what they're saying. You know, Cassie says she was sex, you know what I mean? I can't say that word, but yeah. So they don't want him as a face of De Leon anymore because of this case. So it doesn't matter that he settled it. None of that matters. And I'm going to show you how it ties into Young Miami, but let me keep on with my spiel. So basically, it looks like according to a letter that was filed with the New York court, the liquor giant Diego believes the accusations are another reason why he shouldn't be the face of the De Leon brand. Okay, now remember this. is It is important to note that the company already felt this way about Diddy before the lawsuit. So they were saying this prior to the Cassie situation. Um, it states Diddy has been running a joint liquor venture with the company for nearly a decade now. So they were already thinking he was not a good look for what they were looking to do with this liquor. And now they are filing court documents because they do not want him as a brand for this liquor. So that is 
one thing against him with regards to money out of his account. Because keep in mind, this is money that he makes from this liquor company, but not anymore. And if you guys recall, Young Miami also does a partnership with him with regards to Deleon. So that means she will no longer be doing that partnership. And secondly, as if the situation with Deleon was not enough, Macy's has decided to phase out the two-decade partnership that they have with Sean John. Macy's will no longer be carrying Sean John in their retail store. And this is effective next month, which would be the month of December, which is generally a big month for those people that, you know, that's going shopping, right? So this guy is facing a slew of people that he is actually doing business with, and they frankly do not want to do business with him any longer. The allegation, see, this is the thing. Nobody believes that the allegations are fake, but even if it was a situation where they were fake, a dark cloud like that, a person never overcomes it. But not only that, there have been other women that have come out, one in particular that allege similar conduct. Um, so these brands are not wanting to do business with Puffy based on these allegations. Um, same thing with the liquor um, giant. So let's tie into how that affects Young Miami. Now let's tie that into how in the hell does that affect Carisha, aka Young Miami, aka Hood Rat, because that's exactly what she acts like. The way that that affects her is, come on, guys, we know Diddy pays all his women. He's a control freak. You need to do X, Y, Z. You need to wear the white nail polish. You need to do this. You need to do that. That does come with a monthly salary. Diddy has lost two major contributors in the money that he receives. I'm not saying that he, he's broke, but we also know that he's a very smart businessman. The money that he's giving Young Miami, honey, he's writing that off. So it's really not like he's giving her anything because his pockets are so big that he can actually give money away and write it off. So it would kind of be like, you know, he's either going to give it away or pay taxes on it. So Young Miami stands to lose a lot because keep in mind, a good bulk of the money that she's receiving now is tied to Diddy. Carisha, please, that's tied to Diddy. De Leon, that's tied to Diddy. Um, no music is being made. Nobody is checking for City Girls right now. If not half of her income, probably 90% of it is coming from what yeah, um, Diddy has her doing for him, including the freak offs, right? Um, so yeah, so she stands to lose it all. Before Young Miami got with Diddy, she was not the same girl that she is today. She was not driving a Maybach. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I love the comments. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.